Darlings, I'll see you when you're finished here in town. I need to go and see a man about a... Ciao for now! What came over him all of a sudden? Don Rodrigo lives in that grand old place over yonder. Let's go and say hello, shall we? Oh, and, uh... Don't go mentioning my royal past, will you? There's no point in causing a fuss. Okay. As far as he's concerned, I'm just his old pal, Rab. Let's keep it that way, all right? Shooting cramp. I'm loving your look and this kind of taste. The training ground and okay. Bye. Senor Roberto, so wonderful to see you after so many years, and your companions too, of course. Good to see you looking so well, Cervantes. Now, I don't suppose Don Rodrigo's about for a wee chat, is he? Ah, lo siento, senor, so sorry. But I am afraid he has gone to Eliador. He is instructing the guards there in the art of swordsmanship, you see. Ah, now that's a shame. I do so love our wee chats about fighting and horses and... Fighting. Don Rodrigo will be sorry to have missed you too, senor. He often speaks of your visits very fondly. Well, I'm sure we'll have a chance for a proper chinwag next time I'm in town. Now, there's something I was wanting to ask you, Cervantes. I was hoping to head out to sea in search of more interesting topics of conversation. You couldn't open the sea gates for me, could you? It will be my pleasure, Senor Roberto. Can you imagine how angry Don Rodrigo would be if I refused? <laughs> I will open them right away. If you go on board your ship, you will be able to sail straight through. Ooh. You're a good man, Cervantes. Thanks a million. And give my regards to Don Rodrigo, won't ye? Ooh, before we leave, let's... Ambe dulu, siapa? Senorito, no bato, senor. Aw, cantiknya. Okay, boleh tak kita zoom? Can we zoom? Okay, that's our destination. Please open the gate! There's our pal, Cervantes. Give him a nice thank you wave, everybody. Kenapa dia sembunyi nak Eric? Oh, Madre mia, is it him? Kesian Eric. Dah lah kompe size wise Eric tu kecil dia tu tinggi. Yeah. 
So, where should I go from now? Hmm, mm hmm. What's that? What's that? Where did all this horrible fog come from? I can't see a thing. Hey, Sylv, what's going on? I'm truly mystified. But whatever it is, I don't like it. Steering hard a starboard! are clearing. I can see light up ahead. Where in the world are we? <gasps> what? Coral place is this? Oh man. <laughs> oh. Do you need help? Magic ke something Oh, I thought this is our ship Yeah Find anything? Jade? What a strange place it's almost like being in a dream. <gasps> Oof. Oh, darling, is it really you? My dearest darling, Kai? I've waited for you ever since the day we said goodbye. What? Oh. 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 <gasps> us like that and there's no need to look so disappointed to see us <laughs> mermaid ha <laughs> what else is new <laughs> hold on are you a mermaid that's strange. You didn't scream or try to catch me in a net. You're different from most other human beings that I've met. Uh, thanks. My name's Michelle. I'm sorry if I gave you all a fright. It, it's just I thought my car was back and I got all excited. Wow. I can't believe I'm talking to a real live mermaid. Anyway, who's this Kai you keep talking about? He's a tender-hearted fisherman from Lona Lulu Bay. He promised Lola he would Lula. meet me here upon our wedding day. Your wedding day? I didn't even think humans and mermaids could get married. At first I was the same. I thought we'd never be together. I thought the mermaid's burden would keep us apart forever. For if a mermaid leaves the sea and makes the land her home, if ever she gets wet again, she melts away to foam. Oh. But when I told my Kai I couldn't come to live with him, he said, in that case, Shell, you better teach me how to swim. And so I got the blessing of the Queen beneath the sea. He's going to come to Nautica and live down there with me. Oh. Oh, that's wonderful news. Congratulations. But he's supposed to meet me here so we can be together. And I've been waiting for him now for what feels like forever. Oh. 
I know he'd never break his word. He's not that sort of person. But the longer that he stays away, the more my worries worsen. I know it's rude to ask you, but I beg, I plead, I pray. Could you go to Lona Lulu and make sure my Kai's okay? So you're from the bottom of the sea, where the giant pearl from the story went. I wonder... Aha! How about this? If we go and check on your fiancé, will you take us down to see the Queen? To pay for such a kindness, it's the least that I can do. I'll sing my song and safely sink your ship and all your crew. Please. If anyone knows the truth about this giant pearl, it's the Queen of the Sea. If it leads us to another one of the orbs, it's worth helping, wouldn't you say? Okay, I'm gonna try this and say no. Just to see their reaction. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I had a sudden urge to stretch my legs. Let me ask you that again. Yes, and yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, all of you. I'd be indebted to you if you could try to find him in the town of Lona Lulu. I'll mark the village on your map. It's to the south of Hotto, a beautiful blue bay behind an isolated grotto. My Kai is a famous fisherman, as ragged as the ocean. A hunky, chunky sailor stuffed with smouldering emotion. <laughs> oh, now I'm all embarrassed. <laughs> Don't tell him what I said. Just bring my darling back so we can finally be wed. <sighs> I have bread for me. Seashell. Ada apa lagi tak? Treasure. There's one thing I like to ask you. Please don't tell anyone about Kai. Why for bad feeling? I mean, kalau macam, kalau she's been waiting for. You. God knows how long. Mana tau Kai tu dah mati ke? Right, anyway, let's see. Hmm. Lulu, a seaside paradise that Shell tells me is home to the prettiest pals in all the world. <gasps> oh, pals! Bright blue waves, pure white sands, and fabulous jewels just lying on the beach. Truly, darlings, this is the promised land. <laughs> Is it though? <laughs> but it's nice. It looks very nice. Although it does seem a little less promising than I expected, where is everybody? Something's not right here. Still, it's not our problem. Let's just find this Kai guy and get out of here. I didn't know that boy had any friends. So Kai is still alive. Oopsie. Okay. How do I get up there? 
or here. Attention! Good. Then I'll tell you the tale of the terrible curse that befell our village long ago. The curse of a crafty creature with a face as pretty as a pearl, but a heart as black as coal. Now, let's begin. Once upon a time, a master fisherman lived in Lanalulu. He caught more fish and gathered more pearls than any of the other men in the village. The mayor of Lanalulu, the big kahuna, was very fond of this fisherman and offered him the hand of his beloved daughter. The fisherman and the kahuna's daughter agreed to be married, and the future of the village looked bright. Until the day of the storm. The fisherman was caught up in a terrible tempest, and he and his catch were thrown into the ocean. As he sank through the water, he saw the pearls he had gathered shining like stars all around him. The light faded, and he prepared to meet his maker. But instead, he met her. A mermaid more beautiful than any creature he had seen before. She held him in her arms and whispered in his ear, I will give you your life if you give me your soul. Many days passed and the fisherman did not return. The people of the village thought him dead and held a funeral for him on the beach. But just as they were beginning to sing his soul into the next world, he appeared, exhausted but alive. The kahuna's daughter was overjoyed to have her beloved home and stayed by his bedside night and day, nursing him back to health. But the fisherman was no longer the man she knew. All day he would stare out to sea, muttering over and over, I must marry that mermaid. Then one day, he threw his fiance aside and ran to the harbor, screaming, I must go back to her. The kahuna was furious. He banished the fisherman from the village and burned his boat so he could never set sail again. And so... The man who was once the pride of Lanalulu spent the rest of his days alone on Saikiki Beach, haunted by the mermaid who stole his soul. That's all for today, children. I'll tell you the rest of the story tomorrow. Mermaids are scary! Whoa! The mermaid's coming to steal our souls! Run! <laughs> Aloha, friends. Is there anything I can do for you? Maybe. We're looking for a fisherman called Kai. Do you know where we can find him? Oh, my! 
What a coincidence. You must be looking for my son, Kainui. Are you friends of his? I'm afraid he's not here at the moment. All the men have sailed west to fight the giant squid that's been attacking our ships. If you want to hurry things along, maybe you could go lend a hand. Once that monster's dealt with, they'll all come back to the village, sure enough. But be wary, friends. That squid isn't the only danger out on the seas. Don't let a crafty mermaid make you all pupule. I'd hate to see you go crazy. Must be the gallant squid hunters. I wonder which ones are blushing husband to be. Yoo-hoo! Over here! Excuse me, which one of you big brave boys is Kai? Watch out! Hey. Look out! Hey. Hmm. They look like they're saying something, but I can't quite make it out. A good view? I love you! Watch out! Oh, above you! Watch out! Look! Above you! Above you? <laughs> Look out! Up there! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh. Why I hate this. Oh, you have got to be kidding. I know, Eric. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Scorched Earth! <laughs> You want some? Never in doubt. Focused.
out your soul! Heavens, hear me. Not bad. Let the darkness consume you. Let's get you patched up. Silvano takes the stage! Oh, cool it! What?
here, princess. Thanks. Let me kiss that boo-boo better. Ah, cheers. Let's keep at it. Chin up, lassie. Oh, thank you. Bang! Wonderful, yes. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Darlings, it was nothing, really! Mahalo, mahalo. Whoever you people are, I can't thank you enough. But I can sure feed you enough. Tonight, we're gonna have a luau to remember, and you're gonna be the guests of honor. Get ready to drink, dance, and fill your belly with fish till you fall down. Come one, come all to Lona Lulu. Ooh, fish. I don't mind. I think fish. <sighs> Giant calamari. I wonder where. Oh. And where do you think you're going? You're off to look for Kai, aren't you? Well, I'm coming with you. Oh, hello, Veronica. What are you doing out here? Oh, those stupid fishermen said the party was only for grown-ups, so they couldn't let me in. Is every bar in the world full of stubborn idiots or something? Anyway, you're going to look for Kai, aren't you? I've got nothing better to do, so I might as well join you. Kai, 
fishing boat guy. That's him. Sorry, but I'm not the man from your story. You must have me mixed up with somebody else. Hmm. Don't give us that nonsense. We know you're the only Kai in Lonolulu. If you never meant to marry that poor mermaid, you should never have proposed to her. Hey, go easy on the accusations, will you? People here got no love for mermaids. If they think I do, I'll be in trouble. The Kai you're looking for is my grandfather, Kai Noah. I take it you've heard the tale of the mermaid's curse? Wait, grandfather? Not even his father, but grandfather? Oh. Oh, fuck. Yes, yes, your mother told us all about it. But I can't see what an old fairy tale has to do with anything. You can't keep Michelle waiting any longer. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's not a fairy tale. It's true. The fisherman from the story? That was my tutu, my grandpa. Huh? It all happened 50 years ago. And it happened just like my ma tells it. But the story didn't end there. Ten years after grandpa got chased out of the village, the kahuna's daughter, Leilani, she married another man, and they had a kid together. After the baby came, the people started to forget about Kainoa and the curse the mermaid put on him, till one day. Another great storm struck, even more violent than the one that sent my grandfather to the bottom of the sea. The kahuna's boat went down, and him and his daughter's new husband went with it. The men who survived went to break the news to Leilani, but when they got there, her and the baby, they were nowhere to be found. The villagers said it was the mermaid's revenge, that she took all four of them because she couldn't have Kainoa. So they lit torches and they marched to Saikiki Beach to confront him. When they threw open the door of his hut, they couldn't believe what they saw. He'd been living all alone for the last ten years, but there he was with a baby in his arms. And the baby, it was dripping with water. They ran off screaming, talking about how he must have had a kid with the mermaid. And that was the last time anyone from the village went to Saikiki. Hmm. Wait, but that baby must have been your mother, which would mean she was half mermaid, which would make you... Cooley, cooley, don't even say it. My mother is a human being. My grandpa found her abandoned on the beach and raised her as his own. He never had a kid with a mermaid. That's just a stupid rumor made up by a bunch of superstitious fishermen. If that mermaid really is still out there somewhere waiting for grandpa, there's something I want you to give her. Meet me on Saikiki Beach. It's on the other side of the Cape. You can get there through the chapel at the back of the village. I'll leave the door unlocked.
This veil was my tutus. Ma said when she found him after he died, he was just lying there holding on to it. Guess there was a reason I never threw it away. If you really know where to find that mermaid, I want you to take it to her and tell her he's dead. Look, I'm sorry if I was kind of short with you back there, but it hasn't been easy for me and my ma. After Grandpa died, they let her go back to the village and marry a local guy, but it didn't stop folks talking. But she rose above it, turned it into that story show of hers, and now that's how she makes her living. She's a smart woman, tough too. I hate that mermaid for what she's put us through, and I don't want my kids to suffer like we have. The Kahuna's finally letting me sail with the other men. The curse is nearly undone. Please, take the veil and let that be an end to it. I can't blame him. I mean, it's not even their fault. The, the, he and his mom, by the way. Why have you brought me here? <sighs> that voice! It's music to my ears! I feel like I could cry. Oh, darling, tell me, is it you? My one and only Kai? Yeah, I'm Kai. Do I know you? to jump for joy. You don't know me. I don't know you. You're not my darling boy. No, I'm not. The man you loved, he was my grandfather. But he's not here anymore. true love, the one that I adored. You died alone and friendless on this cold and windswept shore? <gasps> oh, how could I forget we mermaids live 500 years? Quick as a flash, a human life just ups and disappears. Without Kai, hours seemed to pass too slowly to be true. But now I see cruel time was flowing faster than I knew. Hey. Thanks for finding Kai for me. You've been a proper friend. To trace my love across the sea until the bitter end. 
I said I would reward you, and I mean to pay that debt. You'll find your prize upon the selfsame island where we met. I'm sorry I can't come along and see you on your way, but now I'm here, I can't go back. I think I have to stay. your granddad's hands, you know. So soft, yet strong and honest. The hands of one who'd never, ever make a faithless promise. A mermaid who sets foot on land will perish in the brine. But that's all right. I got to meet my darling one last time. If I had been a human, or if he had been like me, perhaps we could have lived together, happy as can be. But I'm a mermaid. He's a man. There's no point asking why. He was my one true love. But now, it's time to say... I can't stop thinking I've seen her somewhere before. Of course! Grandpa's cabin! What's this? A letter? This is Grandpa's handwriting. Dearest Beloved, Ever since you saved me on the day of the great storm, the dream of one day being reunited with you is all I have lived for. But now I fear that dream is over. Forgive me, my darling but I cannot keep my promise. Some years after my boat was burned and I was exiled to this beach, the fishing fleet was hit by another great storm and many people lost their lives. The Kahuna and his daughter Leilani's husband were among them. One night, not long afterward, I saw a woman standing on the cliffs. She had a baby in her arms. It was Leilani the woman who was once to be my wife.
With her father and husband gone, she had lost all hope and all reason. I called out to her, but in her grief, she could not hear me. Before my disbelieving eyes, she threw herself into the ocean. I tried to save them. I did everything I could, but only the baby survived. Kai? Huh? You're sure you're fine to row back home? You're not in any pain? I wish you'd let me keep you till you're fighting fit again. Don't worry about me, Michelle. You fixed me up real good. I'm fitter than ever. Huh? Ah! <laughs> Kai, I know you've got to go. There's things you have to do. Just promise me you'll be back soon. I'll wait right here for you. It's all my fault. I'm sorry, Michelle. I... I can't leave. I can't just be thinking of myself anymore. This child needs me. The villagers say you put a curse on me, but it's only because they don't understand. They don't want what happened to me to happen to anybody else. You have to forgive them. They don't know you like I do. They don't know you at all, and what they don't know, they fear. I sometimes wonder if you're still sitting there, on that rock, still waiting for me to return. But it's too late for me now. I'll never make it back there. I'll understand if you can never forgive me, but I want you to know one thing. I love you. I always will. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been so hard on you. Without you, I'd never have known all of this. Never met Michelle. All this time, I hated that mermaid for what she did to my grandfather. But now I see how he really felt. He wasn't cursed. He really loved her. Oh. Uh. Oh. Anyway. Hey, honey. How's it going? As <laughs> Eric apparently. Hello, Eric. Eric. Small hours. Oh, Eric. How's it going? <laughs>